Hello my friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. More Christmas stuff. <laughs> I the, the store man just gets me. Every year it gets me. I have so much stuff from Dollar Tree in my house. I, my sister came over on Saturday and I was like, it'd probably be easier for me to tell you the things that are not from Dollar Tree than the things that are from Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I am going to just go through real quickly what I got on the table here. And um, this isn't actually everything that I bought, but I decided not to show you everything just because it's a little overwhelming. And a lot of the stuff is just stuff that you've already seen. Well, I bought a couple of the red chuck. Um, decorations. I've brought a couple of the bell, the white bells, the big white bells. Um, yeah, just, you know, stuff. I brought some stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive in and show you what I got. I'm going to start with this bag. I don't think I really need to say much more. Isn't this gorgeous? It's so pretty and it's big. It's a big bag. Let's see if it, it's, it's like 17 inches long and then 12 inches wide. It's a big bag and it's really pretty. I did also buy some more wrapping paper with the cute little Santa Clauses on it. This is the Hallmark expressions gift wrapping paper this is a new thing this year um, I talked to one of the managers and I'm like did you realize you guys have Hallmark and he's like yeah it's new we made a deal with them to have their wrapping paper in our stores so I'm really really looking forward to wrapping with this because I'm sure it's very high quality and good wrapping paper and then I also bought another one I'm just got to say this every this year is gonna be Santa year this one has like kind of an older fashioned Santa cookies and I bought a couple yeah. of little matchbox cars. I bought this one because it was red and it does have some little stuff on the side here but I thought I could paint over that possibly, hopefully. But then I also bought this one and I thought I liked the, the design of this truck a little bit better. Um, I felt like it looks a little bit more old fashioned, kind of that red truck feel. So I I'm thinking I can try to paint this, I'm hoping. Um, so I did buy these at the Dollar Tree, so they are there. I know last year I had a hard time finding these when everyone was doing the trucks with the trees in them. They, I had saw a lot of DIYs with these, and I never saw them in my store. So when I, I just went ahead and grabbed them because I'm like, well, if I ever get a hankering to do a DIY with those, I want to have them on hand. I did find the Dashing Through the Snow. Um, little design. I already have the um, pot, the pot holders, and um, I was excited to actually find the uh, net towel again. And then I did find the, fl the flower sack towels. So this one says, express your elf. <laughs> and then um, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with all the Christmas trees. Now I have actually made the um, the pumpkin one I made into a pillow. So the one that had like the pumpkin recipe on it, I made that one into a pillow for fall. And it's sitting on a little like table that I have, like a little desk and chair combo that I have in my house. And it's like the perfect size. Granted, it's only like half, because basically what I did was I just took it and I just halved it and I sewed up the edges and then stuffed it with pillow stuffing. Um, and I think it's like the perfect size for that. So I definitely will use one of these to do that with. I'm just not sure which one. I don't like the lime green though. That's my only issue with this one is I really don't like the lime green. And then this is Slay All Day. I really think this one is cute too. So I don't know. It's going to be hard. I'm, I probably will turn all of these into a pillow. At least these three into pillows and just kind of scatter them everywhere and around my house. Um, I bought a little box set, um, gift boxes. I do like these for, um, you know, little gifts that I give people. So 
I'm excited that I found the one with the little red truck on it of um, 20 gift cards. Now, I think that there's different, all of these different designs in here. So I am going to open this up just to see them because I actually specifically bought them for the gingerbread house ones. Yeah, they're definitely different. I could tell already. So I bought them specifically because I wanted the gingerbread house ones because I'm having a gingerbread house making party at my house and I wanted to give everyone a little card, but now I only have two of them. I didn't realize that until I got home that these were all, all gingerbreads. So, but I think it's okay. I, maybe I'll just use them as decor on the table or something um, and then just give them another type of card. Um, but these ones are sweet. They kind of remind me of the um, Coca-Cola po polar bears. <laughs> and then these ones. And I'm just, I love the Santa Claus um, suit, kit, the suit, but the ho-ho thing, the ho-ho, it's not my favorite sentiment for Christmas. And that one with the little train, oh, I'm going to give this one to my son. Actually, maybe he could give one of these to his boss for Christmas. That would be really cute. And then a look at this one. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this one. That is super adorable. So cute. Joy to the world. Oh, I like this one too. That one is super cute. Why does that one feel thicker? Oh, I think I got an extra one. Yep. <laughs> I think I got an extra one of that one. Cool. And then I wish you a Merry Christmas. And joy, love, peace. Yeah. So, these are cute. And then I bought these pencils. Um, I specifically bought them for these three pencils right here that have the little truck. And they actually match these stickers. So they have the camper and the truck. Um in on the pencils. And I thought these those were just really cute. So I picked up the pack of those. Picked up one of these. Um this was from the dad's collection. And um or when they had the like the dad section uh, in back in July or June. And oh June, I guess it was in June. May and June, um, and they still had them in my, uh, they have come kind of hidden in the, like, checkout aisle, and so I picked this up because it was metal, and it's a, it works on magnets, so I am I'm going to paint over this, and I'm going to create a Christmas countdown with this, I think. If I get around to it, I have a couple of DIYs that I'd like to do. Um, and then I picked up this um, numbers for the DIY countdown. I, I like I wanted to have big numbers, so um, I'm going to make these magnetic by using the strips of magnets that I get from all of the magnetic notepads that I buy all the time <laughs> that I never use. The other thing I bought were these um, in the in the teacher section. Um, they're these like reusable dry erase pockets. And um, the reason that I bought these was I thought they would be really great to keep my um, like my stickers and stuff for my Christmas planners. I'm, I'm kind of feeling like I want to go back and get them because I feel like they're not 12 by 12, but they're, um, it says you can insert eight and a half by 11, but they're definitely bigger than an eight and a half by 11. So I feel like I could potentially use them to, um, put like, cause I plan out my planner spreads typically for the month. Um, and I like to put them in a separate container. So like I have like basically like a planner kit. Like I kind of make myself a planner kit out of all the stuff that I want to use. Um, so I'm thinking that would be really cool to use these for that purpose is my thought process. But for now, I thought I would just buy them to um, kind of organize some of my Christmas crafting supplies. Um, so some of the paper and stickers, stick them in the pockets to use them for that. Collapsible storage containers with the buffalo print. I um, do a... 
wrapping station, um, gift wrapping station in my, in my house. And I will actually leave a link to that at the top. Um, from last year, I showed you what that looks like. So I thought this would be, um, a nice addition to that because I had a couple of the, um, containers that I had that have like an inverted box and I'm really, I don't, I'm not happy with those. I want something that's more up and down and flat. So I thought these would be perfect to line up and kind of put my bows in and then put my, you know, maybe put the other things that I have, ribbons and stuff in the other one. So I found patch pins at the Dollar Tree and they are stinking cute. So I'm going to open these up and show them to you. But they are pins. Um, obviously you can use them for just a patch and I'm planning on doing that. I'm probably going to take this off. I'm, I actually bought two of these because I loved the Christmas tree so much. I do like the candy cane too, but the Christmas tree is just so pretty. So I definitely want it. I will actually probably use that one as a pin, um, on a sweater or something for Christmas. And then this one was really sweet too, um, with all of the little, um, uh, sequence on it and things like that. So, um, yeah, so I really liked this little set. That's why I bought two of them. And then, um, I bought this Jill gingerbread man and then look at the snow globe. I mean, granted, it's not like the hugest, greatest, like, oh my God, artistic quality, but I mean, it has a tree and a Santa and a snow globe and it's like got snow in it. I mean, and it's huge. I mean, it's like, well, it's not huge. It's like, what, two inches probably? Yeah, it's three inches by two and a half inches. So it's it's a good size little pouch or patch. And I mean, for a buck, I got two of them. Basically, this was 50 cents. So I don't know about you, but I think these are adorable so yeah so that was everything that I wanted to share with you that I got at the Dollar Tree um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you again real soon bye for now